This is the Mark I DigiGurdy. Um, it outputs MIDI files to, uh, in this case, a mobile phone app. This is just a cheap, uh, well, a free one. Um, it has a fold down handle to make it portable. There's no crank, it's just for practicing melodies. So you click this up. This handle allows you to manipulate it. So if this is resting on your left leg in the normal kind of position, um, you stabilize it with this right handle. You can see the backs of the keys move and um, the keys press micro switches and a computer here chip, an Arduino board, outputs the MIDI files. So in this case we've got a guitar set up. So um, as you can see it only plays the highest note that you're playing so you, you can press more than one key, do that kind of thing. Um, that's the open G sounding there, that's controlled by this switch. It'll fade away if I let go of it. Um, and we have different modes. Here's a piano keyboard. Actually, that's meant, that's meant to be emulating a violin. You get the idea. That's the open string, which will fade if I let go of this. So that's uh, the, the basics of using it with a phone. Obviously you can put headphones in and practice, which is what the whole thing is uh, about. Um, for the iPhone there are apps such as GarageBand, which probably have more flexibility than this one. And also there are a number of uh, programs for laptops that you can plug it into. So I'll now show you running with a laptop. This is a piece, uh, it's a free uh, program. For, for playing MIDI files. It's called, I can't pronounce it, S for Zando. Uh, it has lots of different sounds available. So here's one called Machine Gun. Okay, and there's just loads of different sounds you can try. list is pretty endless. Ooh, that's quite epic. So that's the um, open string. I wish I can turn off with this lever here. And as you see it only plays the highest notes. You can play more than one key and you can blip the keys um, just as you would on a hurdy-gurdy, even though it doesn't sound anything like a hurdy-gurdy. This piece of software is called Universal Piper. Uh, I was told about it by David Jacobs. Uh, this is the demo version, which means it randomly goes quiet every now and then. Um, it mimics bagpipes, but it has drones, and uh, we can turn them on and we can have a little play. So, drones on. There we go. That was a little quiet moment there. And then see if we can play something. So that sounds reasonably hurdy gurdy ish. Um, so between all these options uh, there's plenty of ways you can practice with headphones in using a laptop or a mobile phone. Um, the handle falls down, this unplugs and that's, that's all you've got. It doesn't actually weigh much either. Um, if I were to make another version I would probably try to develop a printed circuit board to take all these um, uh, micro switches because solder soldering them in with wires is a nightmare um, and I'd probably make the whole front probably machine it from solid using a CNC machine or even just go back to uh, laser cut plywood as a means of construction uh, rather like the original nerdy gurdy that um, inspired it so clearly I'm a beginner and uh, I now need to disappear for about three months at least and learn some songs and come back to you
I hope you like this anyway. Cheers, bye bye.